After following breaking news out of New York City tonight where a helicopter crash landed on top of a building in Midtown, not far from Times Square. The New York City Fire Department says the pilot was killed. Channel 3's Aaron Connolly is joining us now with the latest developments. Aaron? Well, Denise, it is always scary when you hear about an aircraft crash landing in New York City, but the governor was quick to point out they believe this was an accident and there is no indication of terrorism. Smoke poured from the top of the building on 7th Avenue, where the New York City Fire Department says a helicopter made a hard landing around 2 o'clock this afternoon and sparked a fire. Hundreds of people inside the 54-story building and several other nearby buildings were evacuated. Emergency crews moved people away from the street below. Eyewitnesses described what they saw. It sounded like a, like a small engine plane at first, and then I just felt the building shake. Fire trucks lined the block as emergency crews made their way inside. On the street, Governor Andrew Cuomo briefed reporters. If you're a, a New Yorker, you have uh, a level of PTSD, right, from 9-11. And uh, I remember that morning all uh, too well. Emergency officials say most of the damage is contained to the roof, which was not designed for a helicopter landing. The pilot was believed to be the only one on board, and there were no reports of any other injuries. Now, authorities say the helicopter was only in the air for about 11 minutes before it crashed. Also important to mention here, New York City was very rainy, very foggy today, so much so that our local CBS station is not flying its news helicopter because visibility is so poor. There is no word, though, if the weather played a role in today's crash. Erin Connolly, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.